Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we will work on the Steam Friendless integration. So before we start let's first fix a bug. So um, if we start playing we spawn as a character and our character uh, falls down because yeah he's a normal character and this can cause a problem after he felt a, yeah, a special uh, yeah, Z axis. So let's stop him from falling. So go into your main menu pawn, and here I can show you how I found this out. So I grabbed the player controller and get actor location. Again location, get world location this one, and I took the event tick. And then I just printed the string, convert this over here, and now if we play we can see that he is moving down. So to stop this, go into the character movement and search for gravity. Gravity scale, just make it zero. So now you can test this out and yeah, it's still zero. So now we can delete this debug, print string and can work on our Steam integration. So for this we go into our UMG, open up the main menu and yeah here let's do some things. So first let's um, open up the player info and let's give him here a right padding of 15 or something and the image also a padding of 15 here. Uh, not. Let's redo this, control Z. Let's get the image, the size box and let's just make it middle here and 15. Like this, so now it's in the middle like this and now we can give it a padding here about 15 also let's say 20 and what's wrong here in our button text oh here is right sorry not the text should have a right padding the button should have a right padding of 15 so now it's a bit more separated and now we can create a new user interface called friend list. Here we want to make again a custom and let me think about this. I think 400 by 700 is okay. And let's add a border to this. Like this and let's add a scroll box where we can add our friends. So the border can get a other brush color here or other brush sorry black one and make the opacity 0.5 or 0.7 like this and then go back to the main menu which has no border so let's apply here a border to the canvas let's make it over the full screen zero here the values out and bring this at the top and now here also just open the brush. Let's make the tint uh, yeah, grayish 1.5 like this. So now we can bring in our friend list and we can actually see it. So let's get the friend list into the canvas panel and let's anchor it to the right side. So get your zero, zero, size X was five, 400 and Y was 700. So alignment will be one. And then let's get to position X minus 15, like this. And this one can be 100, two less, 200 is okay, like this. So now if we play, oh sorry, the border, this is not working, so let's um, actually make this white. And yeah, now we can see here everything. So this is just a default background. We can maybe change this in later versions. So yeah, um, the next thing will be our friend data. So I'll create a widget which has the friend data. And here inside the friend 
data, just delete again the canvas panel and make custom again. Now we need to make you 400 also and on for the height, uh, choose 17, 15 for the content and 20 will be our padding between uh, the, yeah, the fields. So um, to actually get this to work, I don't know why this is, but I often fail because I don't have a size box. So just make the size box on top and yeah, it works for me. I don't know why, but this is a small box. So when we add this to our friend list here and don't have a size box, it won't spawn. So yeah, I just do this here, 400, let's get this and 17 like this. Then we get a horizontal box inside and the horizontal box uh, will have the padding of 20 at the bottom, like this. Then we get an image into this horizontal box, which will be wrapped by a size box. And so we can uh, make it same width and height of 15, like this. And then we can just add a text to it. This can give it a small padding on the left side here, about 10 or something. And let's um, center this in the middle, like this. And we can also start getting here some data variables. So create a variable which will be friend data. And this friend data will be a variable which comes from the advanced session uh, blueprint. So this is called be, be friend, sorry, friend info, this one. And we also want to edit and expose it on spawning. And now we can actually work here in our friend list. So here um, we go into the graph, create. And here starts the magic, so I got the player controller. And from this one we get uh, start, no, no, sorry, get and store friend list. So we, uh, oh, whoa, sorry, this is not correct with the world context object. So just click right here and get friend, get, sorry, get and store friend list like this. So now here's just one input and we want to connect these. And so we are getting our player or our friends. So um, yeah, the first time on success, of course we want to make it for every loop. So here we have a lot of options and you can play with these values and decide which is the best for you. I would just break this here and you can see it. We can see the name of our friends, all night state, here on the presence, we can break again and it's playing same game or this game and much, much more settings. So I will, um, use first is playing. So grab here the branch. So first we will um, show our friends that currently playing a game. Could start with playing this game, but I don't have friends at the moment which play this game. So we will edit this in a future video. But for now we will just show the playing friends. And from the true we want to create the widget. Select here your friend data. So we're creating here this widget. Um, the friend data here will come from the array element. And um, from this one, we just want to add the child to the scroll box. So we make this a variable. And then we get this here and we add the child like this. And here we're adding the content to it like this. So now we have <clears throat> the character, uh, sorry, the character, the, the widget created. And the next thing I want to do here is um, give the text a specific color on which play mode she is. So we are binding here the um, color. So create binding. And for this one, um, we make it promote to variable and this will be color input. And this color input um, yeah, can be compiled and be on pink. It's, it doesn't matter here. So 
just make it expose and spawn and editable. So we can also give him here a color input. So we promote this here to a variable, which I call just playing. So this one is the color for the yeah friends that plays playing a game. And let me look which color I used here. Um, it's the same color from Steam here, the green one, or nearly the same. So I will show you the values here. This is 0.468, sorry, 0.665, and 0 0.042. 0, yeah, 0 0.042. Yep, and th th this is the color for playing friend, uh, for the friends that are playing. We can here play now and stand alone and check if this works. So here it comes, and here we have it with text block assigned with the color. You can see four players and I have four friends that play some games. So uh, the next thing that misses is the name so and the image, so get back to the friend data. Get here uh, into the designer graph and bind the text now. Get the friend data break it here. The friend data comes here from uh, the friend list. And we want the display name as the name. And for the image here, for the brush, get the binding. And here we want to make a brush from texture. And again we get the friend data. And now we get avatar, or we type in avatar, oh sorry, right click without the friend data get steam friend avatar like this um, we break here now our friend data and we get the, uh, the unique net ID and on success we are get giving this over like this width can be 15 and height can also be 15 sorry and now if we play and here we have our friends with the correct names and images. So yeah, that's all for this part. I can show you a, a little bit more here. Maybe I just copy this over here. And from the uh, complete of this one, I just go into this one and here we um, get uh, the online state here and equal it to uh, an enum of a way and copy this over, plug this in, get extended away. So if it's this or this, so get the or and get the and boolean. Um, so uh, from the presence info here, break this because we don't want to have now the is playing. So away and extended away and not is playing. So get this one and this. Then we want create a friend list but this one will be not the playing color, it will be the online color. So they are just online not in game. So it doesn't matter if they away or they are just online. So for this value I have this bluish color from Steam. So here are the values. 0 0.061, 0 0.235, and 0 0.342. This color here. So this will be now all friends that are just online. Or away. You see here at this he's away and his color is also blue, so way and online is the same color. So I just made it like Steam does. And the last thing here I have offline. So copy, whoops, sorry. Copy this here over again. Bring this down uh, from the complete end. Of course, I forgot here to connect the array again. 
um, here now, uh, just delete this one, copy this equal, get the online state and get here the offline. If this is true, I'm going to copy this one here and call this offline. Bring this in here, compile it, save. And the offline has this, this gray color. So here the values are, we can just mix black and then but um, yeah, not so black. So like this. Uh, and now we can test this. So here we are, um, it's loaded and here we have our friends that are online and I think there's a small bug with the color here because these are all not uh, showing correctly. So let's check this up here. Okay, here the online should be here. So away, extended away or not is playing. We can be like this maybe. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Compile, save, play. And here I just see that here I'm just uh, with, with the UA, so uh, let's bring the online guys also in. So um, here we delete, um, whoops, we delete this one and this one, and we get another OR, and from this online, and then we connect this together and check this now out. And here we are, four players playing a game. So let's check this. Yup. We have here two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen players as online. So um this is the wrong value because we have here eight. And for this we're uh connecting here maybe the oh sorry, not this one. Oh sorry. Just control Z to get the spec and from the is playing, we get the not again. So this was correct. Connect these together here. And now we should have the thing up and running. Let's test it. And here we are. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Should be the correct value. Yep, nine players online and the rest is offline. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. You see here this texture string pool over, uh, it rises here. Um, I will look into this in the next video and we will remove this. And we will also do in the next video invites to our uh, current yeah, game session. So yeah, so have a nice day, bye. And here's a small addition, um, I fixed it. Just get into your friend data under a get brush to just delete this function here. Compile and save, go into your de designer, click on the brush here and remove binding. So then go to the event graph and here on the event construct, get stream friend avatar. Right click here, get stream friend avatar. Then pull in your friend data, break it, plug in the unique net ID. Then here from this one, get the um, make slate, slate brush color, sorry, make slate brush color and open this up and make it like I did here, connect this, make you 15 by 15 and then connect it here to the image. So here from this image, get a set brush and just connect them. So now if we play, I tested this now about five minutes or 10 minutes, there was now texture streaming. So I guess this was coming from the function which I uh, get every second the image and um, yeah the the game gets an overload of images and the uh, graphic cards uh, will be overloaded so yeah j this one uh, fixed it for me because it just fetches uh, one time the image and yeah that is all so thanks for watching this video and yeah have a nice day bye